So who franchises in the UK? There are many different types of franchise opportunity available to you, but they generally fall into these four types. Owner operator. These are typically van based businesses where you go out on your own and deliver the business every day. Often work will be supplied by the franchisor, which is why they can sometimes be called job franchises. Retail does what it says on the tin, usually high street retailers or fast food chains. Then you've got management franchising. Ordinarily, it will be home or premises based businesses where you're providing either a product or a service. Your skills will be much more as a manager and you're going to employ staff to deliver that service. And investment franchises, generally high startup cost businesses where you won't be involved in the day to day operations of the business, but take a capital gain on sale, typically hotel chains. The joy of franchising is you can choose to do whatever it is you like to do. Here are just some examples of what's available in the franchise sector. Running a pub, sweeping chimneys, working with children or even pets. The list is endless. So where can you find information about what franchise opportunities are available? There are different industry magazines available to buy from news agents or through subscription and some of the national newspapers carry franchising advertising. More and more research is being carried out now online and there are many franchise portals, including our own, that will have case studies, news and information about the opportunities available. And of course, there are the BFA accredited franchise exhibitions, were a great way to see many franchisors en masse and see how they all operate. Hi, I'm here at the National Franchise Exhibition at the NEC in Birmingham, one of the BFA accredited franchise shows. The franchise shows are a good opportunity for you to come and do your due diligence. It's great to talk to franchisors, banks, solicitors, and visit some of the BFA seminars to get the right advice for you. Hi, I'm Tracy Shah. I work for Venture Marketing Group. We run the BFA accredited franchise exhibitions, which are a great place to come and find out about getting into franchising. We've got over 100 brands here today, um, and it's a good opportunity to come and meet with them face to face and find out how to start running your own business. One of the great advantages of coming to the BFA franchise show is being able to attend one of our seminars. It's a great opportunity to find out about what's going on in franchising. You'll hear from a banker, a franchise solicitor, as well as a franchisor who will share the realities of the franchisee-franchisor relationship with you. So how do you find the right franchise for you? There are four key assessments when you're looking to buy a franchise. Your finances, which Lloyds Bank will be covering in more detail a little later. The market, where you're going to be. You, what you want to do. And the franchise. So looking at the market you need to assess whether what you're looking to invest in will work in your local area. What's the competition like? And are you going to stack up locally? A good but obvious example of this is will it work in your area? Surf shops will be fantastic in Newquay, but how would they work in the middle of Leicester? Many franchisors will give you guidance on what to look for and what research you can do locally, but it's good to show some initiative. Go and visit the competition, see what they're doing and what price they're charging. A few years ago, we had a potential franchisee um, who was looking to purchase a coffee shop brand. He went to all his competitors locally and was buying coffee at different times of the day. Each of his receipts were numbered so he could tell when the peaks and troughs were in that particular uh, marketplace. And from a personal assessment lifestyle, is it going to fit in with you and your family? From a family perspective, are they committed too? Are they behind your decision? Many franchisors are going to insist you bring your better half along to the interview with you to make sure that they're as on board with this decision as you are. From a personality perspective, you need to be system orientated. Franchising is about doing somebody else's thing, not reinventing the wheel. From an experience perspective, it's great if you've got some business experience that will be advantageous when you're looking to invest in a franchise, but you don't actually need the experience. The franchisor is going to train you and train you to do it their way. Assess the franchisor. For me, the best thing about franchising is a touchable, feelable, pokeable thing. You can speak to the franchisor and ask them questions. Lots of questions. Ask about their background experience. What did they do before they started franchising? You can go and meet them at their offices and see what it's like. Meet the support team that are going to look after you. Do you like them? Do you get on with them? There are just a few questions here on the screen that you can have a look at, but we've got an entire list of 50 questions that you can take from our website to your first meeting with a franchisor. And do ask them if they're a BFA member. And if not, why not?
we have three different categories for franchisors that are basically for franchisors at different stages of their development. So our provisional list is for companies that are very new to franchising, but they're still taking some professional advice with the way they structure their business. We have our associate membership. Franchisors here have to have traded for at least one year with one operating franchisee so that we can look more into how that network's performed. Then we have full membership. This is for established brands with a proven franchising and trading record. They've reached a stage where they're no longer reliant on recruiting franchisees. They're going to live, survive and support their franchisees solely using the ongoing fees. At all levels of membership, we put franchisors through a rigorous accreditation process. We look at their accounts, we look at their franchise agreement, we look at their marketing materials to make sure they're not misrepresenting that business in any way. But it doesn't take away from the fact that you need to do your own due diligence and be comfortable that the business is right for you. And talk to franchisees during your due diligence process. You can go and see them, spend some time with them. Here's just a few questions you can ask. Now, bear in mind when you're looking to speak to franchisees as part of your research, it's probably going to be a managed process. After all, they are running their own businesses, so the franchisor will want to introduce you at the right time. That doesn't mean they're going to give you a cherry pick list and you shouldn't take that. You choose who you speak to. And try and talk to some different performers. Uh, talk to a, an exceptional franchisee, an average performer and someone that's struggling in the network and see if you can work out why. Franchising is about talking to everybody and understanding what it is you do every day. So franchisees aren't going to be really honest and are probably the best part of your due diligence process. And at the end of the day, it's your decision. Franchisors should be openly disclosing information to you so that you can make an informed choice. They will have their own selection process um, that's going to give you a broad introduction of the franchising, such as letting you attend discovery events. Um, but you shouldn't feel pressured at any point into making a decision if you're not ready. Please remember that it should feel right for you. And if it doesn't, you can walk away and explore many other opportunities in franchising. Good luck.